Nityandam, I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Sri Nityananda Paramashivam. Today's episode, um, I want to talk about Param Jyoti, the ultimate light. Guru is the embodiment of that ultimate light, which lits all the lights. In the sacred city of Kashi in the north of India, the holiest city, I would say, um, in India, there is the ghats, which are the places where people, uh, cremation grounds basically, where people uh, burn their bodies when they leave the body. And everybody who is burnt in, especially the Manikanika ghat, will uh, get liberated. And that is the commitment of Shiva to all the Kashivasis. So people go there to constantly burn their bodies once they leave the body so that they can be bestowed uh, liberation, moksha. And in Kashi, there's a very symbolic happening. There is a flame which has been never shut for the last 4,000 years plus. Um, that flame is always there. And from that flame, they lit all the pyres every single day. And Guru is, is, is like the embodiment of that flame. It is the eternal fire from which when you come near, when you get initiated, when you receive his diksha or his touch, that fire jumps. It's like you're a, la um, a lamp which is not lit. And the moment you come next to uh, the fire, automatically the fire catches. And like that, you start to radiate the same grace, the same um, jyoti, the same light, or the same... Um, there's a word which is escaping me now. Tejas, yes. Some, the radiance uh, that the space of Paramashivoham bestows. So the, the Guru is that, he is the embodiment of that eternal light from which initiation is possible. So Swamiji is there to give us the initiation into that ultimate space. So it should not be missed. It's a great blessing for us to jump onto and uh, to really shift our lives so that we can start to operate from different frequencies, from different planes. Nowadays, Swamiji is talking about the vertical planes of existence, vertical time zones. And um, that brings a lot of understanding about the importance of connecting to the Guru so that you can operate from a space of pure consciousness and not from a space of matter or mind. So with this, I'll see you guys in another episode of this episode uh, of this series of Guru-Disciple Relationship. I'll see you guys soon. If you like, like, subscribe, click the bell icon to know more about the upcoming videos. And I'll see you guys very shortly. Nityanandam.